Welcome back to Failure, Failure to, to communicate. communicate. All right. I think we got it together today. So uh, tell us in the chat if you can hear us, if you can see us, if one we are good to go. <laughs> Let us know. Uh, hopefully we are all good. We're just trying to get everybody in here in the room. My iPad is not working, but that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna yeah. we're gonna make this work today. So I'm looking forward to today's episode. Are you? Yeah. It is called yeah. Living Under Your Spotlight. Living Under Your Spotlight. Yes. You wow. know that song by Jennifer Hudson? Oh. I don't like Go ahead. Living under your Oh. Life. Right. See, I'm one of those people that right. never knows the words See. of songs. <laughs> so I'm, I'm more of a <laughs> mashed potato <I> dumagama. <laughs> <laughs> as much as you like music, Jay, I, love I don't music, believe it. I love music, but if you think about it, I don't know I any don't of the words I'm gonna to anything. I'm going to need you to get it together. Okay? Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I'm going to need you to get it together, Jay. Yeah. So, I, yeah, that is what we're talking about. We're talking about how... A lot of the times, especially in marriages and even relationships, too, because we'll get into that, how women sacrifice a lot for men. Absolutely. We're always the ones having to give something up, and even if both of you are successful. <sighs> really? I, uh, you got I'm listening. To say? I'm I mean, because that's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. I want to hear what you have to say I'm, about it, Jay. You know, <laughs> I don't like how you say my name already. <laughs> Um, I, I want to hear what you have to say. Yeah, I, I'm gonna let you lead on this one, and I'm, really? I'm uh, yeah, allow me to retort. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, you I'm know, I thought about this topic because I had a conversation with a friend, and we were talking about this, and she said she was having a conversation with another male friend, and he told her, he said, if you want, if you as a successful woman want to be with a successful man. At some point, you're going to have to dim your light. And I was like, ooh. And she was like, even though it hurt to hear that, mm, it's kind of true. <sighs> what you got to say, Jay? I'm, I'm just allowing <laughs> you to finish out your thought. No, um, that was my, that was, well, that's the thought. And then we'll go into, we'll go into conversation about okay. it. Okay, so. Uh, yeah. <sighs> I think in the right relationship, there are, there are situations, you know, mm -hmm. for example, we talked about with the Obamas yeah. where light was dimmed and Michelle played her part, but I feel like she But he made was becoming president of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's really, I said that, but I was like, that's really not a good example because I mean, that's the president of the United States. I mean, I give up my job too. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? I don't know if you would. For really? I don't. I don't know if you would. I, I think know. I would probably still work, but you could still be president. Exactly. Exactly. You, <laughs> but but she had to give up everything back home in Chicago. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> maybe but, maybe there was plenty. Maybe she was I'm happy to, to give up. Y'all know what a link is, okay? Yeah. I'm trying to get this link on, on Instagram. Maybe she knew what. I'm, I'm not even going. You know no, what? Your mama's you in the say, chat today. You your mama's say. probably in the chat today. I don't I want any. You say I'm not starting Jay. today. I'm starting today with, with, no. with grace and peace. Oh, really? You don't the, choose yeah, violence today? I'm not violence no, today. I want you to say what you got to yeah. say. We had we had an episode last week with with Debbie Tommy, and we talked mm -hmm. about slapping people. So we're going less violence this week. I'm not slapping anybody. Okay, I I am. You know, I'm a woman of God, and I'm just not going to choose violence today. I'm trying to work on my walk. So stop the. Jay yeah, and no, say I'm, I'm, say. I'm, I'm with the fact. I think that each <laughs> each in each relationship mm -hmm. determines who gives up what. For mm -hmm. example, I know what's the other way around. I have a friend of mine who was in the real estate industry doing extremely well. He was in banking, did extremely well. And then his wife got elevated because his Screw wife got an elevated position. <laughs> and and as her position elevated, he mm -hmm. said, okay, cool. I'm going to come home and take care of the kids. Yeah. Uh, so it's not always. No, I didn't, I didn't say always. I said in most cases. And when it, when, in cases when it doesn't happen, it's usually because, to your point, the woman is the breadwinner. But in most cases, the woman, like, think about it. When people get engaged, who usually moves? The woman moves for the man. Not the man moves for the woman. In most cases, okay. long distance one. relationships, if you've been together for so long, the woman usually moves for the man. I'll give and you it's that. like, well, you know, I got this job and, you know, it's like, mm, okay, but I got a job too. 
You know, and, and, and here's the thing I deal with. Men are like, but you could do your job from anywhere. That yeah, I can. It don't matter, though. What if, what if I don't want to move? Plant? What, what if, if he's I working at the move? Well, if working <laughs> from home is wherever home is and home mm-hmm. is changed, then then it's all good. Then it's all good. Is it, though? Yeah. Is it, though? Because here's the thing. What I've seen a lot of the times when women uproot themselves because you – you have to meet a new friend circle. Mm-hmm. You and if you're a mother, you got to find new mommy friends and mommy groups. And you know, people funny about their kids. I don't want you know. I ain't got no kids, but I imagine <laughs> when I'm a mother, I'm just gonna be like, Ugh, I don't know these people. You know, and I have friends that have moved. Like they say, they moved out to the suburbs because you've had you got these kids now. You want a bigger home, and so it's hard getting back out there as a woman. So would you suggest? Whoever has the greater income, that's where the move makes. So if she's making three hundred and he's only making a hundred, not that a hundred ain't no major money. That's six figures. Mm-hmm. But maybe whoever is the the primary I don't know breadwinner. If it's necessarily about income, but I feel like it, it. Most of the time, it is about income or economic opportunity, if you want to phrase it another way. Okay. But it's about, but yeah, like, um, so Claudine said in the chat, she said, my ex-husband left the U.S. for Canada, where I live, because she was more established. See. So, again, it, it is, Claudine I don't want to make it. was making that paper. What's up, Claudine? But I don't want to make it about income, but a lot of the times it is. It, it's about who's the breadwinner. Wait, did she say ex-husband? Well, yeah, but that what, that ain't got nothing to do. See, with. it didn't work out. He moved for <laughs> it and, and left the whole country. I and don't then, see it had anything to sudden, do with that. Look, there was a power <laughs> dynamic, Claudine. I need to know more about this. We're gonna dig into oh, that one. We're gonna have you come in on the next episode. I wanna see. And she said he also moved because of health insurance is free here. I mean, I will move to Canada. I love Canada, so shout out to the Canadians because Toronto is like my second home. Claudine, send your picture. Let me. See. I'm thinking of moving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just you. you want that free health care? Look, this you health care that, out here. You want that free, free health care? Look, but but no, seriously, think about like I'm Jeff Bezos me. and and his wife. Um, her name just escaped me. Is it McKenzie? You just call her rich chick. No, That's no, all you McKen- call her. <laughs> <laughs> she rich either way. McKenzie. They didn't know Amazon was going to be what it was. I mean, but they always show this picture of him in his garage, and you got the sign written Amazon on the wall. I didn't see her she, anywhere in that picture. W- first of all, <laughs> she, she helped him with his business. <laughs> no, but she helped him with his business. So she mm. sacrificed her career. And what was her career? In, I don't remember, but she sacrificed it. <laughs> Jay, I'm a woo. I, I just need to know what a career See, was. What type of sacrifice? we ain't in the church right now, so I could slap <laughs> well, say what you need to say. Say what you need to say. Like I said, you're choosing violence. You're choosing violence. This is a I said I could. Okay, all right. But I'm not going to. Okay, okay. So anyway, but she sacrificed her career to pour into him as well. Mm-hmm. You know, so I think it's, I, I don't know. I think what, what would the conversation look like for you? And would you expect the woman to kind of step back so you could focus if you had the more successful career? I, in my relationships, Mm -hmm. I think we've done a really good job of having open dialogue. Um, I haven't run into that situation. Mm -hmm. I did work out of town at one point for, but I was gone during the week and come back on the weekends. Mm -hmm. Um, And so in a situation like that, I, I just trust the process that we could have the conversation because we're at this point in life, right? Mm -hmm. And we are having conversations very early of the what ifs. And as we're building this union, then we're having the conversations. And I don't think there would be an issue. Would I move? Plus, if the other person doesn't have kids, Mm -hmm. if I have kids and the other person doesn't have kids, then what's that like? Exactly. Yeah. So I I think that also matters. So if you got Mm -hmm. kids in school and all the above, I mean, I could be in a relationship to where, we had some time apart where if she worked out of town and came home on the weekends, I could do that. Yeah. You could do that. Yeah. You don't, you don't think I could do it? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, thank you for not just putting it out there. <laughs> what are the reasons why you think, oh, it does have nothing to do with when we dated? No, I just okay. know you as a person, you need to be around somebody. Long distance ain't going to work for you. Yeah, it would need to be weekends. Yeah. Because, so sure. okay. I mean, I'm working like crazy during the week anyway. So yeah, I could do. Yeah, but coming home to to empty house, you wouldn't like that. 
Yeah, I guess not. I mean, right. yeah, because I mean, I'm coming home to an empty house for the most part now. So if I was in a relationship, I do look forward to that part of a relationship. Exactly my point. Um, but if it's not a change from where I am now, if it was <laughs> temporary, I could do temporary. Mm -hmm. But long term, um, not something that I'm looking forward to. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I know people, and I joke, I'm like, you know, I could do long distance, but the older I get, the more I want someone yeah. closer to me. Like, long distance is difficult. You're getting on a plane. I know people who are in long distance, long distance marriages right. because the two don't want to, you know, people don't want to give up their careers. Wow. So it's like, man, how long is that going to work? And then when children come along, that makes it, that makes the equation even more difficult. Yeah. But again... The woman, the woman is with the children most of the time. I see, you know, the dads, the stay-at-home dads, what have you, and all that. But the woman is usually the one that's at home taking the kids. And people would argue it's because women are natural nurturers and this True. and that. Ah, uh, no, nah, uh-uh. What do they say? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going with that. Okay. No, no. Men can be nurturing, too. Okay, I've seen some good dads. But just naturally, the natural essence of a woman is a lot more nurturing. Mm -hmm. um, I got most of my mom, mother, even to this day, is extremely nurturing. <laughs> what? Yeah. That's what I said. Jay likes to do Bible study late at night. Now, nah, <laughs> So we starting, are we starting with that today? <laughs> you know, they got to come who, with a joke. Who, who said it? Who that said that it? was Natifa. Okay. Okay, Natifa. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. Well, thank and you. Thanks, for Janika and Natifa. I put on some clothes for y'all today. You know, we ain't in the church. I could be a little spicy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You're rattling like the snake. I like it. Okay. I like it. This is a good look for you, though. Thank you. It's thank a good look. You. But so, back to what uh, we yeah, saying. Uh -huh, yeah. Back to what this, she was this saying. Is, don't, don't, is, don't, don't, don't do that. No. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think it's one of those things where I, I personally <laughs> am at a point to where, yes, I would enjoy coming home and cooking for my wife and mm -hmm. she cook or, or coming home, whoever's home earlier or whatever we decide to do. Right. I think that would be an amazing thing. And that's one of the things that I look forward to. Mm -hmm. But temporarily, I could do a, if, if we needs to be, you know, in different cities for a little bit, hopefully not different states, but I can do that. Yeah. I can do that. Different states is definitely hard. I yeah. think that, again, and you've the, done travel, that. the travel back and forth. Yeah, yeah, it's difficult. I mean, I've dated somebody in another country. You know, how often did y'all see each other? Once a month. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all was okay. Yeah, we were there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not mad at that. I'm yeah, mad but at then the pandemic happened and the borders was closed. Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> y'all through the glass. All right. <laughs> Ain't gonna work. But, mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, yeah, but I, I don't know. So, anyway, but I, I just wanted to talk about that because I feel like women are always giving uh, something up. In relationships, and not to say that men aren't, but a lot of the, a lot of the times it is women sacrificing. I could be a stay-at-home dad. I absolutely could be. And be at home with the kids. I, they would drive me nuts. I, right. I would much rather be at work. Right. I would much <laughs> rather. The hesitation but for I feel me. like God. I'm just being honest. Like <laughs> I love my kids, but when I have them for an extended period of time and it's uh, just me, it's like Lord, John, <laughs> they eat too much. <laughs> I hate too much. It's the hesitation for me. It's the, I hit you with the hezzy. <laughs> right. Um, I, 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 right. I, I, because I think about this. Like, what if she, if her career was that much? She was running a big company, so forth, so on, and we didn't need my additional income. Could I pull back? Um, and there's always things that you can do as far as I could actually start a different career. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe something that I – or change my real estate company to where – I don't have to be there and do those type yeah. of things and go with a virtual type of type of situation and have somebody else run it. Um, but I, I just really feel like it's about the relationship and whatever the sacrifices need to make. You're making sacrifices for the relationship, period, anyway. Uh, yeah. There, there's, there's, you know, uh, we talked <laughs> about in another episode where, you know, maybe the person isn't necessarily physically your type, but you're getting everything that you need emotionally. That's a sacrifice, too. A sacrifice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 that's what? Because you're changing what your wiring is as far as what you're what you're looking for. Sacrifice. Yeah, maybe it's a harsh word, but that's a very harsh word. It's a little, Jay, really? you know, you're taking one for the team, and, and that's if okay. It's a, if it, if you got to do all that, then maybe you shouldn't. 
Because <laughs> I don't you, want nobody sacrificing what they want for me. Well, like, no. I want them to want to be with me. Because if you want to be with someone, then that's not a sacrifice. I don't care if they're not your prototype. <laughs> no. What? Go ahead. I'm listening. Go ahead. We don't have to agree. Go ahead. You need to be on time now. <laughs> <laughs> Shallow hell over here. <laughs> no, not at all. I'm just saying, like, and I know I have a, a female friend of mine. I won't say what occupation is. She's married. And her husband knows that he is not physically her type. And she has told me and other people that her husband is physically not her type. But emotionally and mentally. And so she loves him regardless of what her eyes needed, her heart and her mind are getting everything that <laughs> she needs. This don't sound right. That's, I'm just saying. <laughs> and why and that, you going around telling people that your husband is not your type? I'm, I, you know, that's, that's up <laughs> that to them. That is but just I, wrong. I, I, <laughs> look. I, I don't I don't know. Listen, I want I want to be your type, okay? Not yours. I want to be my man's type, okay? Because I, I ain't no type. sacrifice. You no, said not your yours. Type in my no, I'm speaking generally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm speaking generally. But what I'm saying is because I don't want nobody sacrificing anything. You want nobody taking one for the team, huh? Right. Like okay. now you could you can go miss me with miss, it. Miss okay? me with it. That's miss me with it. That's <laughs> miss me with it for the day. Come up with a different word. <laughs> uh, somebody <laughs> said, Jay, you used the wrong word. I, right. I may have kind of said that a different way. I definitely could have said yeah, that I'm a different way. Yeah, I'm going to need you to way. ponder that tonight. I, now I feel like the next, next relationship week. I'm going to be in, somebody's going to watch They're this like, episode. You're making a sacrifice so are you sacrificing with me? With me? <laughs> right, exactly. Right. Exactly. Uh, and maybe that's an adjustment that, is I think a that's term. a touchy situation or a conversation to have, too, when you start talking to people about, like, am I your type? And it's like, even though that person may not be. Yeah. To express that to a person, I think that's hurtful for me to be like, mm, really, no, you're not my type. I mean, <laughs> yeah. But it, it's just. Why, once again, did you have to look me up and down <laughs> <laughs> and say, you're not my type? Why are you looking in my eyes? I wasn't saying that to you. It's always. Anyway, what I'm, saying, <laughs> what I'm saying is that, that that's a tough conversation to have with someone. So. One You've of, been in a relationship with a guy that's not your type. Well, yeah, you, I have, you don't have but a I didn't type. tell him. He, okay, yeah. I didn't tell him he wasn't my type. Okay. and so so what yeah, were you I doing? Don't have were you a sacrificing body type or whatever? I have now. I have a guy in my head uh -huh. that is like my my dream guy. Okay, but but I don't. As far as who I've dated, no, there's no consistency. What's as your dream far guy look, look like? I ain't telling nobody that because <laughs> it ain't for the people. It's, <laughs> it's for me and God. <laughs> You just fill out your people, order form. Then I'm going to get deep. Oh, so I wasn't your type, so you sacrificed <laughs> me? Nah, it ain't even all, all the men that I have ever been with, they, they have been my type at that moment. Can, can I ask one question about, about this? What? Does a guy have a beard or no beard? Uh, I've done both. Okay. I'm Actually, talking about the type that you have in your... No beard. No beard. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. Like, hey. Oh. Hey. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Anyway, um, so the other end of this conversation, guys, was talking about can you have it all and what is your definition of having it all? Ooh. Because I know people who are not married and they're fine with that. I know people who don't have kids don't want kids and they're fine with that, but they have yeah. a successful career. So yeah. I think there's this stamp, this standard that, oh, I want the picket fence, a dog, two kids, a husband, this and that. And that's, that's somebody else's vision. It doesn't have to be yours. And so I think what does it really mean to have it all? And are we okay with, with, what, that, with what that is? Yeah. You know, because I think the older I get, uh, you know, that have it all definition is changing. Right. I used to want three kids. Well, this body say if you can get two, you're blessed. Right, right. right. <laughs> but, but, you know, it's it's changing. You know, do I want I, I question, do I want to be married again? You know, because I got some folks out there and I'll be like, y'all make y'all make me not want to get married again. Really? <laughs> yes. Oh, I mean, I tink, do, though. Tink. No, I'm, on some days I feel like that, really. Well, tink, <laughs> I had to, yeah, look, I, I was like, I'm getting you a nickname today. <laughs> no, but it's, it's, but I do want to get married again. But at the same time, I'm not holding myself to societal standards about where I should be. Because people are always like, oh, you don't have any kids? And I'm like, well, do you have a man? Like, why are you all up in my... <laughs> <You know? laughs> 
I mean, it's just it's just the, the judginess. I feel judged. <laughs> I, I think that's a societal thing, though. Like, at a certain point in life, it's like, well, why don't you have kids? Yeah. And sometimes, would you... Uh, my thing is, like, so were they supposed to have kids with the wrong person just to satisfy right. exactly. your, you know... It's uh, like, if you're a certain age, you're expected to have kids. And if right. you don't, then something's wrong with you. Yeah. And it's like, mm, my timeline just didn't work out like that. You know, I still want children. I'm older, but I'll be, I'll just be an older mom. And if God says so, then it will be, yeah. you know, but I'm not holding you're not myself. Older, you're seasoned. That's even worse. Oh, is it? Okay. Like, I don't know. Lightly seasoned. seasoned. Lightly seasoned. Lightly seasoned. Just a little sprinkle a little of sea salt in there and some garlic powder. This Go man, ahead. He's just a <laughs> Go ahead. Just offensive. This is a lightly seasoned <laughs> woman. I, I'm not doing this. Um, her journey, yes, we're going to change that thumbnail later. Uh, Toya said, do what makes your heart happy. Exactly, you. you know. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think that, you know, we have to, uh, and this is a, a reel that we're going to post one week, but this woman, she's over 30, and she was just heartbroken because she's just like dating right now is so difficult. Yeah. And, and, you're, and as you get older, you're having to change what you will and won't accept or what will or what what won't happen like she was like i have accepted that i may not have children uh, can i can i yeah. tap in okay <laughs> so i uh, cue me up on, on my camera real quick I, I <laughs> really? feel like this needs you to happen talk to the people yeah I, 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 yeah I, i'm i'm a, a go ahead whenever you're ready <laughs> there is no spoon it's just like with the matrix there is no white picket fence. There is no 2.5 kids. There is, I get so many of my women mm -hmm. friends call me and say, Jay, I don't have this. Man, live your life. <laughs> Nobody else should be dictating what your white Absolutely. picket fence is. Absolutely. What your 2.5 kids is. You create whatever that is through the experiences. Like your yeah. journey is not somebody else's journey. Absolutely. So we oftentimes, especially in this Instagram age, of everything is filtered and they took a thousand pictures to get this one shot with the arts up perfect and this and that like that's not reality mm -hmm. and unfortunately and and you know like i know and this is one of the reasons why sometimes we're like do i want to get married <clears throat> is yeah. because what you see online of somebody's perfect marriage mm -hmm. oftentimes is disastrous and only the pictures are the good part mm -hmm. And, and I've been in, in a situation to where we looked great and everything looked like it was amazing and mm -hmm. she was attractive and I was all right. And, you know, we had the cars and this and that and all. But at home, it was horrible. Oh, yeah. So and it was the Instagram versus reality, yeah. you know. And, and But I've had people who are married to say to me or people who have kids, oh, girl, don't have kids. And I'm like, how are you going to tell me not to have kids? You got your bundle of joy, even though they hell raisers. But th that's not, you, you don't say that to me. Like, I never said to anybody when I was married and unhappy, don't get married. Yeah. Because your version of marriage may be different from mine. That, so I, I've never done that because people are like, oh, girl, don't have kids. And I'm like, mm, just no, make, but I still want to have kids. Just make sure that that <laughs> person that you're talking about is not in your mommy and me club whenever you decide. <laughs> Cause, cause that's not like. Uh, like everybody them, kids going to be grown them, by the time I have kids. kids might be in the garage one day with the car running with the <laughs> garage <laughs> closed. No, like, they you kid, don't. Listen, they kids going to be grown by the time I have kids. Everybody kids going to be grown. Like, I, yeah. I, I just think as a society, we would do so much better to just allow allow um i talked about you i, I did um you uh, talked about me you said dear, good thing yeah the, absolutely mm -hmm. absolutely uh, you know um dear future wifey i did mm -hmm. that podcast last yeah. week we had a great time and i talked about because you, you get on me how i was filtering my pictures and i oh. didn't realize it and so but first of all i need to put my glasses on when i'm editing this stuff but but yeah, i don't let have him this, edit our photos yeah guys. no it's a whole mm -hmm. thing i talked about how i was missing the eyebrow and i didn't have any edges. i'm like jay your ear is gone your ear is like, gone <laughs> you're missing the whole you ear you, i can't we photo, can't hear you face, anymore what do they call it face tune well we were just uh, too much it so 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 but i appreciated that but i also had to look at that deeper and say mm -hmm. wait a second why do i feel the need that every photo needs to be edited mm -hmm. and it comes from it came from this instagram era that we're in Mm -hmm. where we have a we have an idea of what we should look like yeah. 
and it's not realistic. Mm. And so, for my reason, like I said, I don't I don't wear lotion a lot, and so it was my. You put on sun today? No, not today. <laughs> not at all. It, it would have been a whole waste, you know. So I, I saw that. I natural. saw that real with you jogging too, and I said, "Ooh, them knees." I went to I went First to of all, comment I so know bad. I saw ooh, it. I went to comment I, so I saw the jog bad, real, y'all. and I and I and I was like, "Ooh, yeah." I you said, know, I didn't. Put why that is he outside with no <laughs> lotion on him? I was but going hey, for a run. I was going to sweat. It would have been a waste of lotion. It's very uh raw and very real. Exactly, and you know that's no filter see and it was it was also 44 degrees outside when i was going for you my can run you still put lotion on that's a waste i'm gonna sweat it out, <laughs> sweat it out. the sweat would go in the same pores no, that the lotion would go in. anyway absorb. back to the topic get off my 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 lotion you mentioned habits. the ashiness but i'm just trying to help a brother out <laughs> but but so we have this idea that we need to be perfect for somebody else and and, and a lot of times we focus on the exterior instead of the interior Mm-hmm. And the whole point that we're having this podcast, somebody talking about my lotion. They, they said, I saw them knees too. Toy <laughs> said, I saw them knees too. Joy. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to have some of my fellas come in on the chat to get my back because y'all, y'all tend to gang up on me, but that's okay. Y'all I, loves me. I, no, the men I know, Kanye. Where, my I, mama the men loves I know, me. they lotion up. You know what I'm saying? You know what? They might not have naturally oily skin. <laughs> So. You ain't got naturally oil. <laughs> My oil hadn't been oiling like it normally does. It's okay. Anyway, so, so back to what you were saying about, you know, the the perception. Yeah. Yeah. And so the whole point of this podcast is working on the interior of the relationship as well. Yeah. Right. And so I, I think as we travel down this road, hopefully we'll all learn a little bit more about what we need out of the other other uh, out of our partners mm-hmm. and more importantly, what we want to provide. Yeah. Which leads us to our segment. Oh, we're uh, ready already. I thought we right. still had more to talk Do about. Do you want? Go ahead. No, we, I mean, I, did, there's, I just feel like there's a lot to talk about in that because that also comes from communication, setting yeah. expectations a, ahead of time. Yeah. So I, I don't think you really answered my question earlier. Go ahead. Come on. About, like, what would that conversation look like for you if you wanted a woman to kind of, like, not necessarily, we won't call it dim her light, but if you, you know, your career was successful and kind of. I'm not the, I'm not the dim your light kind of guy. I'm, you would I just, just, you would just I, let it be. Yeah. So, so I something's also. going to have to naturally. No. My, I, so my, you also have to think about the example that I have. Mm-hmm. My father was in oil and gas and my mother was an entrepreneur and she, she went full speed ahead with her mm-hmm. career. He went full speed ahead with, uh, yeah. with, her, with his career. And he went back and got his MBA from TCU, and she constantly was educating herself in her space <laughs> and traveling to learn more and come back and get training and all that stuff. And I never saw either one of them. I, they created this space to where they could both, and they had two kids. Right. So where do you all fit in that equation? You know, they made it happen. Like at, yeah. at one point, you know. So if mom was traveling, then dad stepped his game up. Okay. And if 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 dad was on a trip, then mom stepped her game okay. up. Okay. So and then it was it was a seesaw. It, so, but that's what I'm talking about. So at some point, so in that way, it's a pendulum where they're both picking up the slack where the other is not. So I I like that example. And so, but that's what I'm saying. Like, even if it's not a long-term thing, someone is going to have to step in. Someone's going to have to pick up the slack. Someone's going to have to do this. It would be nice if it's more balanced where the men and the women are doing it. But... Yeah, someone's you're saying going historically, to have to sacrifice. You're saying Some, historically the yeah. woman always has to dim her. Yeah, it's usually the woman. But, yeah, it, because, like, for example, my dad was home, and my mom got home late. My dad was home, we got home from school, and my mom got home later. So my dad was filling in the gaps when my mom was not home. Right. And so, it, so yeah, it it has to, It it's always, you know, nothing is ever equal. Nothing is ever completely balanced. I was having this conversation, and so w- when you think of having it all, <clears throat> you're, you may have a great career, but your house may look like crap. Mm-hmm. You may, your house may be beautiful. You may have a successful career, but your, your marriage is in shambles or your dating life is in shambles. Like some, and then there's the other side. There's a positive side to yep. this, right? Because you can still not be balanced, but it just means that you're giving a little less to certain things, but it still mm-hmm. works. So like you were saying with your mom and dad, it still worked, yeah. but you had to pick up the slack. It's harder when you're doing things by yourself, though. It, yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> I, but I feel like a marriage is a partnership. Yeah. 
And it always exactly. should be that way. And so if one person has this need, then the other person, you know, steps up their, yeah. their game. And, and that's for the whole entire. I think the problem ends up being when we start <laughs> looking at it from an individual perspective of, oh, well, yeah. I need this. I, ain't no I in team. Ain't yeah. no I, there is an I in marriage. But there ain't no <laughs> I in team. Right? There is no I in team. Um, and that's what, like Chris Rock was saying in that reel we just posted the other day that, Marriage is not a competition. <laughs> it's, it word. is a partnership. Yes. You know? So you gotta Sometimes you got to play the tambourine. tambourine. <laughs> Sometimes you got to play the tambourine. And so, just, you know, like that lady at church. Just, yeah, you know, play. you, you know? got to play that tambourine. So yeah. Claudine said less expectations, more discovery. I love that. Yeah. So, okay, so I think this is a good segue into the Miss Me With It. <laughs> because we're talking about roles of yep. men and women. Yeah, absolutely. So, absolutely. Yeah. so our, our miss me with it moment for the day. Miss me with it. Is my guy. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, you, I'm going to let you say who it is because I always do it. Go ahead. Go Cam ahead. Newton. Cam um, Newton. Yes. Oh, Lord. Quarterback for what team is he with now? Is he uh, with the Eagles? No, I think he's. he with now? He was with the uh, Carolina Panthers. Panthers, wasn't? yeah. yeah he but he, back, he's yeah. a football player. So go ahead. So you know, I, I, the brother's got great style. He's got he's got interesting style sometimes. I, I'm like but great style. He looks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he he walks in his own lane, and I appreciate that. I, mm -hmm. You know, and and it's, uh, this, this today, I'm, I'm wearing a, a slightly Cam Newtonish hat. Um, <laughs> he, he wears pastels, and, and I'll rock a yellow hat. So you're, are you so, channeling? I am Cam not. Newton? No, oh, not okay. about to set me up. To not today. <laughs> Boy, you try to get me. You try to get me. I'm today. like, are you a Cam Newton mm, you know, supporter? No, you two violence today, and I am in the peace end I'm of this like, process. I'm like, okay, where we going with this, Jay? Yeah, no, okay. you was trying to set me up. But um, I, 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 his comments that he made this past week, and for you, anyone that hasn't seen the comments, you can look them up. But he basically said that he prefers the traditional roles um, of a woman taking care of the house mm -hmm. and something about they need to make sure they know how to cook and clean and all those things. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what his preference is, which he is entitled to his preference. Absolutely. Brother's <laughs> making millions of dollars a year. Mm -hmm. um, uh, my assumption is that he can afford a housekeeper. A chef. And a chef. Right, all the things. <laughs> and a trainer. <laughs> so that's where I was like, why you need a, uh, somebody that can so cook? So I think his issue, too, is that he said there are women out there that are, you know, I'm an independent woman, I'm a boss bitch, I'm this, I'm that, and they don't want to take on the traditional role. So I think that's th that was in the context of that conversation. But here's the thing. I <laughs> uh oh, she's scratching the back of the neck. You know that? Anytime a woman hits that kitchen, <laughs> it's, a, it's a problem. She's trying to hold it in. Let you it know, out. I, listen, Let it out. I cook, I clean, I do all the things. But... There are men out there who are not equipped to be husbands, but they want you to be a wife. Can I ask a question? What? We, can we, take, <laughs> first first take, of all, take, take some of the bass out of your voice. Right. Say it with your chest. Well, Calm I, down a I little don't bit. Know, you, I had my I had my church right, finger up. Yeah, I came in what? peace. Yeah, do y'all see the violence that happens on every episode? <laughs> I had my church finger up. I came in peace, and I said, "You're gonna make me lose my ask. train of thought." Th th go ahead. Get, go ahead. Go no, you put your finger up. What you got to say? I never got a meal. You never came and cleaned my house. What? Go ahead. Never mind. I don't See, like that word. Go ahead. Go ahead. Finish the train of thought. Go He's ahead. really <laughs> trying me Finish the today. train of thought. I don't want you to, I don't want you to lose we the train of thought. We don't come back to no, no, that. No, no, no. No need. No need. Go right ahead. <laughs> do, do, do. Woo. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, men who, again, are not equipped to be husbands, but they want wives. They want wives and they want mothers. Okay. And he's he's looking for some and, and men they, they are looking for someone to take care of them in that way. I'm not your mama. That's one. And two, again, it goes back to balance and sharing responsibilities and, and, and all of that. But what I don't think a lot of the times men realize is that you want okay, so we both have careers. Mm -hmm. You want me to come home, cook. If there are kids, you want me to take care of the kids. Uh, you want still, there's intimacy to be had. All of these things. Mm -hmm. And where am I getting help? If you're not hiring help, 
t- help help me help you. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't helping me help you. You want all these things, but what 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 am I getting? You know, am, am I getting the massage? Am I am are you taking something off of my plate? You know, I don't like that. And and again, I think it's I remember I dated this guy. Every time he would come over to my house, what, what we eating? What we eating? You can go you can go to your mama house. <laughs> That's where you can go. Wait, wait, wait. We are so, not together. We weren't even together. And every time coming to look through my fridge and look through through my pantry, are you putting in on these groceries? Uh, church what? finger again. <laughs> <laughs> Here church, you go. Church finger again. <clears throat> uh, you weren't talking about me, but I am that person that will come over to somebody's house. Like, I'm going to do Relax your face. No, really? No. <laughs> relax, <laughs> I relax. can't. Fix your face. <laughs> I can't. Fix your face. So uh, uh, I, I am that person yes. that will come over somebody's house and go straight to the fridge. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's, 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 it's one of my things. However, if he passed by a bunch of places, which Houston, there's like 35. Calm down, man. What are you talking about? I'm just about? looking at your face. You're real I'm intense listening. right now. I'm gonna get, need to, finish your thoughts. <laughs> don't worry about me. This to be wider. We're going to need to get a wider couch. Thoughts. I need some distance. Need finish your thoughts. Six feet. Okay. This so, is finished. <laughs> so, so, so he, there's three restaurants on every corner in Houston. He passed up all those restaurants and could have brought something. And he could have led with, hey, babe, I brought us something to eat. And gone from there. And I feel like when you leave with that, then the other party is also <laughs> more inclined to meet you where you are. Because you... You've given an example of here's here, there's a food expectation. What? Right? <laughs> so so <laughs> so so and a lot of times we're leaving from work, and then the next thing you do afterwards is you go eat, go hit the gym. I don't know why you're looking at me like because that. Because I'm trying to understand where I this is going. Safe. I don't you, feel you, safe. You 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 could pick I'm up something. I'm actually getting your side. I'm saying How? he could have got something. He could have got something to eat well, instead of expecting you to cook. It's not even about cook. that. It's about expectations. Again, mm-hmm. obviously, Cam Newton's expectations is for a woman to cook for him and clean. But I also think the other side of that is the the independent women, you know, some people call it the independent women syndrome. I get it. Men want to be needed. They want to be nurtured. They want all these things. But again, help me help you. You want all these things from me, but what are you what are you giving? He picked up some food on the way. Are you nurturing me? Now he ain't picking up no food. I'm just he saying. He's expecting a cook meal, home cook meal. Again, expectations. And if the expectations is that a, is is that he wants a woman to cook for him, then that's the type of woman that he needs to be with. He can't handle a boss bitch. Whoa. I'm Whoa. just saying. Whoa. Because that's the the, the ty- that that type of woman is too independent for him. What? <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. What? <laughs> First of all, it went and and most women that I've dealt with it cannot stand when a man tells them to calm down. No, like it does the exact real. opposite. Of course it does. So when I say calm down, I'm intentionally using those words. You to set me off. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Since so you're anyway, already turned up. Get, get, so. get to what you're saying, okay? Because <laughs> now, now, my my mother, and this is we're all your experiences with men mm-hmm. start with your father. <laughs> Right, mm-hmm. and that sends a baseline of what you expect out of men from the rest of your life. Mm-hmm. Okay, you make adjustments based on um, on the condition, on everything going on. But at the end of the day, it starts with your love from a man. The first time you experienced that Absolutely. was with your father. Mm-hmm. The way it, nurturing my first time experience was with, with my mother. Mm-hmm. My mom is what you consider boss woman. Mm-hmm. I can't call my mom a bitch. Uh, but the boss woman, <laughs> like she, she, S-H. yeah, I know. I you. So she, she worked hard. Um, she also made sure that me and my brother had a, a hot breakfast every morning. Mm-hmm. And then oftentimes was the one that was cooking. Most of the time was yeah. the one that was cooking. Mm-hmm. Um, so in that situation, she did all of those things. Mm-hmm. And so my expectation, I don't know Cam's expectation, but my expectation is that those are possibilities. Do I necessarily need that all the time? Mm-hmm. No. I can cook my own breakfast. Nine times out of ten, I'm not eating breakfast anyway. I'm heading out. I'm grabbing some water. I'm heading to the gym. Right? But it also is based on what that person, what's norm. For me, that is norm that a woman do all that. But I also saw my father cook. <laughs> and I yeah. also saw my father pay, tip in where he yeah, needed to. Yeah, exactly. 
again, that balance. But I also think that's a conversation that needs to be had at the beginning, the expectations. Because if you are an independent woman and you don't think you need to cook for a man or do things and what have you, then that uh, partner like Cam is not the person you need to be with because you're not going to be able to meet his needs. Yeah. Now, the, his delivery takes them off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I get it. I mean, and I'm willing to, to juggle all the balls, but again... <laughs> First of all, you nasty. <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> I'm willing Go to do I'll all these things Go ahead. in a marriage. Right. <laughs> okay, not when you my we hanging out, talking, all this. You're not gonna get wifely du- duties. Uh, res- you know. But things. how does a man know what to? That he's if gonna I get tell in a- you. Eh, no, no, see, we, the, okay, mm, that's another no, conversation no. we get. So mm, you expect mm, a woman to be just a whole wife for you, and then you, and then I you need don't want to preview. Commit. I need to get a preview of what yeah, the marriage I'll is. Cook it's a like meal, a trailer, but it ain't gonna be all the time. Mm. It's like a movie trailer. I, I need to see what this whole uh, the whole movie is about. <laughs> I don't need all the details, but I need to get a good idea of exactly what how the food tastes. Can you really cook? Or are you going out there getting to-go plates and then putting it on your own plate and putting it at the bottom of the trash can? And I don't know whether you cook. Then we get in a relationship, in a marriage, and then we're eating to-go food. I, I mean, a meal, I like a home meal, but not expecting it all the time is mm. what's that. What? Go ahead. Yeah, okay. Well, good luck with that. Uh, <laughs> I, I stay hungry, so it good, doesn't have to be a home cooked meal. It doesn't uh, have to. But okay. if, mm. if, and you know me, I eat out a lot. So I look a small, simple um, and it doesn't even have to be a meal. You can cook some meatballs. Just the fact that I didn't have to go pay for it at a no, restaurant. You meatballs. You know, lamb meatballs is like, for some reason, I'm craving like, but either way, <laughs> that's, in, that's important to me. That's, that's, I, I enjoy food. You enjoy food. You enjoy a restaurant. I enjoy a home cooked meal. And I think if, 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 first of all, let's just put this out there. Cam Newton is making millions of dollars. So if she doesn't have to work in a relationship, and those are his expectations because that's what mm-hmm. way he feels loved and cared for and nurtured <laughs> and all the above. And, and those are maybe he is an acts of service type of guy. Right. To me, that's all that I hear love language right. of acts of service. And he, but he needs to find the woman that that matches his his needs instead of dogging the woman that doesn't want that. I felt like he was dogging a woman that that is a boss woman that is an independent woman. Like he, that's just not that's just not who he he's, want, what, he's he could be matched with. I want to hear from the chat on this one. Yeah, I, I feel like we need need we need somebody else's opinion. Um, who over oh, so somebody else's opinion? Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, because we we are we're we're opposite on this one, and I'm okay. A to lot disagree. of lightweight dudes have heavy expectations. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's from Iris. Um, Iris, y'all are savages in the chat let's today. See. Um, By the way, uh, like toy. and subscribe. <laughs> um, yes. you know, hit the like button and then subscribe because we're actually doing some short. Uh, we put a reel out today. I'm not. A, I'm sorry. What do they call them? YouTube shorts. So you'll get the notifications when we put those out. That came from my nephew Tommy episode from Toya last week. Toya said Cam is trying to be relevant. I don't even think he's on a team right now. <laughs> Um, Savages again. Go ahead. Um, yeah, but yeah, not bringing nothing to the table. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like you got to be bringing, bringing something to How the table. How is Cam Newton not bringing anything? No, to the I'm table? not. I don't think she was talking about Cam. Okay. Um, Mario uh, said, "Love language is what you are willing to do, not what you want to be done." Mm. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Somebody getting deep so, in the chat. All right. Um. What? Is so. I said, what size are you, Jay? (laughs) (laughs) As if I'm a shirt? (laughs) Oh, man. Uh, Someone earlier (laughs) was talking about saying they don't check check social media. They don't want to know them before they get to know. They want to get to know them. Okay. Um, Okay. okay. Uh, So, let's see. Um, It hung wrong with expectations. Um, he has to be willing to give to women have expectations as well. Exactly. Um, so, so yeah, if his love language is acts of service, he is willing to serve. Okay. So okay. yeah, those are some of the things, but, but yeah, I, I just think again, it comes back to expectations mm-hmm. and communication, communicate what you want. Cause I may not be able to meet those expectations and that is fine. 
Because and, then and, we can go, we can we, go our separate ways. Because sometimes people try to force you into a box, and they're like, "You're not doing this. You're not doing." I didn't. If I didn't do it on day one, I'm probably not going to do it. But we try to when we get into a relationship, and especially a marriage, try to think, or we think that things are going to change. Yeah. All of a sudden, when you turn on the marriage switch, she gonna cook for me. She gonna if she was dirty and she couldn't cook before. That's she what ain't I'm saying. Gonna do that for you when you're married. But that's, you, those are things you can spot. That's where the trailer comes in. I we know, need to see a yes, little bit but of a everything. Preview is not someone doing something for you every day, like yeah. or expecting it all the time. I don't think that's fair. Just until the especially movie starts. Especially when you know especially this is the the thing that gets me <laughs> i'm gonna put some different than wa- some more some, something different than water in that in that cup next time especially when you know that you don't want that woman to be your wife and you got you have her doing all these things or expecting her to do all these things that's not fair you're wasting my time okay okay you know take some off <laughs> And here's the thing about that. You are a very busy woman. Mm-hmm. Um, you will work late. You're up early. You you go hard for the companies that you run. Yeah. Um, and I've seen it firsthand. Mm-hmm. So I think there's a different expectation based on your workload um, and going from there, right? Like Is for, it really, though? Yeah, because like, let's say my... Because I feel like men still be expected all no, the things. My ex-wife was... Um, a. <laughs> About to go through med school, mm-hmm. um, and so when she was studying for the M- MCAT and all mm-hmm. that stuff, I was like, "Go ahead, I got it. I got, I got the baby. Focus on what you need to do." And I knew that for the next six years, eight years, or whatever cases, mm-hmm. that a big part of her day and her responsibilities was going to be the med school. Yeah. And so we had the conversation. I knew that financially, and also just what I, my daily daily actions were going to be around supporting her, mm-hmm. but this is for a common goal of the family. Yeah. Right? And then once she got up, once you get in the medicine, I can sit down. <laughs> that, was, that was a game play. You can sit and down for a little bit. I'm going to take a month or two about. off. I'm going to be in Tahiti somewhere, <laughs> you know, yeah. on the beach. You got the baby, y'all good? All right, talk to you later. Oh, but, man. You know, um, but, but, but that's all about balancing. It's, it's all starts with communication. Yeah. It all starts Absolutely. with communication. Absolutely, it does. So, so instead of size, they said they, they meant to say what sign. And oh. we are both Capricorns. <laughs> I was she like, was I don't. asking your sign. She won't worry about me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was like, oh, that's a four question. <laughs> Look, um, you know. Saran said, usually people give people their love language because they give a person what they want. Yeah. yeah. It, it's, it's, it's give, get, give, 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 get. You know, I, I just think that people have to be honest yeah. about what they really want. That's that a, part. Yeah, Oof. and that's another Come thing, too. Now. It's like you're you sitting up here knowing your butt is hungry look. every day, and you want this woman to cook for you, and you just like, no, it's okay, it's okay. And then you mad when you all get together, and she's not cooking. Well, you never cook for me. Well, did you ask me to cook for so you? I feel like we need to have some couch time. We're here. <laughs> What what happened? Nothing. What? I'm just saying people need to be honest about their expectations. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that is I feel all. like this. We're gonna talk off camera. She don't want to talk about it in front of y'all. So we're we gonna talk about talk whoever about. this brother was. Ain't, ain't I, nothing I, to talk I, about. I, this is a very passionate conversation <laughs> for me because I've been in relationships <laughs> where the expectations are just like, but you're not husband material and you want me to do all these things. Yeah. You are not set up to be a husband, but you want me to do wife things. So so what I'm hearing, let me know if what I'm hearing is correct. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, in if ideally for you, you would prefer up front, let's put the relationship into sections. Mm-hmm. Section A is when we get in to meet each other, know each other. Mm-hmm. B is when we're seriously dating and this is the step before marriage. And C is marriage. So, I'm cooking and all that stuff during B. During A, you're not getting a meal from me. No, you might get one, one or two meals. You know. Sprinkled in. Yeah. Just a little. Okay. Yeah, but it's not going to be. We ain't living together. That's during A. You talking about during B? <laughs> We're still not living together in B. Well, or of course. Right, right, right. <laughs> well, marriage, yes. But okay. before that, no. Okay. All right. But anyway. Um, <sighs> I got one more question. This is just for your future husband so he can go back and access this. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I want him to be a. I'm work. I'm looking out for you, bro. I'm Future looking out husband, for you. We will look, have those conversations. Yeah, look, look. So, so during C, which is the marriage, you would then be cooking on somewhat of a regular basis, once or twice a week. Uh, no. 
No, I tried, bro. I tried. I tried. I tried to set you up. We have to establish that in our own marriage. I I mean, and honestly, when I was married, I did cook often. Okay. So it's not that I don't want to. I actually enjoy cooking. What's often? Three three times a week. Oh, that's good. Like you making meals, meals? Yes, real meals. Oh, this brother ate good. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, anyway. (laughs) Okay, so Toya said communication is key. There's nothing wrong with cooking a meal here or there, but it has to work both ways. Again, it's called a partnership along with balance. Absolutely. Um, (laughs) Claudine said, oh, wow, both Capricorns. Now I get... I get your chemistry, but I get why you butt heads. <laughs> of course. Claudine, you did not watch the first episode because we, uh-huh. yeah, we, we talked about that. And that was one of the yeah. reasons why we failed to communicate. Okay. You feel me? So, <laughs> so yeah, I, I, again, am just really passionate about this topic because I've been in situation and, and dudes ask me, can you cook? Can you cook? <laughs> we know, spent a I lot like of- a man that can cook too. What about me? I like to eat now. <laughs> now, do you expect him to then, and this is going to be my last question, do you expect him to then do the quote-unquote male-oriented things as far as when it comes to gender roles in a relationship, taking out the trash, if taking care of the cars, to do those mowing things, the yard, yes. those type of things. Absolutely. Okay. Now, if he gets a landscaper fair. and y'all have a- That's fine. Okay. And then okay. I'm going to get a chef. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And a housekeeper. (laughs) (laughs) Listen, again, how can we help each other have more time with each other? You know, because that's that's important, too. I like how you sold that. I like how you sold that. No, it is. Because if I'm too tired to do anything, you're not really helping yourself, brother. Right. We both going to be hungry in the house. Right. Hungry and tired. Okay. Okay. Which one one you want? (laughs) (laughs) And and now the other side, side for the few fellas that may be watching, the less she cooks, the more energy she has for other things in the house. You well, listen, me? we got to eat now. So, yeah. I mean, I'm Pick just us. saying, I, I like a man that can cook. For too, all so. my fellas, <laughs> I, I my recommendation is try to cook once a week. <laughs> And then also pick up something to go so she can have her energy for other things that you might be worthwhile for. Janika said, Jay, get enjoy ready for home. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> I look. I, no I think we buddy. talked about this. I, whenever Joy gets married, whoever she, I will be so excited for. Because you've worked hard, you've been through. We've have, had a lot of conversations. You've you've gotten to this point to where you're. I feel like you're ready. Yes. And there's so much more that you have to give. Oh, I'm being nice to you today. What's you wrong? Are. What did Man, I eat today? Is, a, is it a full moon? Something wrong. So, <laughs> but I feel like you've done so much work on yourself. And you've and we've dated, so I can speak from a personal perspective of being in a relationship with you. That I feel like you're ready, and you, and you're ready for that next step. And so I look forward to you know, and I'll, I'm, you have my support. I look forward to your happy marriage. Well, I'm gonna speak that on you. Really? Yeah. I, I, I didn't. I didn't know I needed your blessing. But no, you. I'm just. I, I just <laughs> you know. I, yeah. You didn't need it, but I. Uh, I, 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 look I, forward I to think it. I was ready before uh, you met me. I'm but, sure you uh, were, because yeah. you were obviously ready to love. You I was saying? ready to love, and I am ready to love. Um, so someone said Jay wants to. Wants joy to give up the fight and just fall in love. She's too stubborn, though. I am stubborn. I am. I am stubborn. Listen, Who was that that said it? I'm local video marketing. Listen, hey, local I know. Video, I, I know my it. flaws. Okay. <laughs> Listen, I'm I a goat. Okay, I'm a goat. It. You stubborn too. What you talking about? You a Capricorn? We're not talking too. about me. Local video yeah. marketing did not talk really? about. <laughs> this. talking about you. Stay anyway, we side. got to get up out of here. I'm not doing this with you. <laughs> I got places to be. <laughs> And go be stubborn there. <laughs> go ahead. I'm really? sorry. I'm sorry. Really? It was just the last thing. It, it just, just popped up. To, yeah, you it just, just had to. I had to. I throw had one to. in, didn't you? Just had to. Just a quick jab. All on right. Um, so, yes, uh, Saran said you both deserve someone great. Yes, I agree. I believe. In the name of Jesus. Won't he do it? Uh, <laughs> yes, he will. Won't he will. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in for another week. And we will see you guys back here next thir- next Wednesday. At 8 p.m. We'll Central. We'll see y'all next week, 8 o'clock CST yes. on Failure to Communicate. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon for your notifications. Absolutely. Bye, guys.